What is it about big cars from the late 60s that says bank robbery? Maybe we watched too many Hawaii Five-O reruns. Not the new Hawaii Five-O, the original. You know, car chases, hubcaps flying off, guys wearing hats. Meet the bouncer. He's that subtle force at the back of the bar that represents truth, justice, and a good ass kicking if you get out of line. If you were looking for understated muscle back in the 1960s, then this is where you turned, and at 46 years young, it must be said that the years have been kind to the big dog you see before you. This is a 1969 Impala SS, and it's one of the purest examples of old school muscle that we've come across to date. for a second what actually makes a muscle car. We're talking big V8 up front, either manual or really stout automatic drivetrain, big solid live axle out back and some pretty hefty gears. These cars were never ever meant to go around a the corner. They were meant to go bullet fast in a straight line. That's what they do. It's not a pro touring car. It's not a pro stock car. It's not a pro street car. It's not a anything car except an honest muscle car. It has that power to it. It has that presence. It's got that no bullshit, I'm not trying to pretend, I'm not trying to you know show off toughness that I have yet to find in any other type of automobile except an American muscle car. <laughs> The attitude that this car conveys just fits the personality of the car. It fits the personality of the owner. It's like seeing a person with a dog, right? Did you ever notice how the dogs kind of look like the owners and vice versa? Well, the car is very much the same. Look at Rob, big dude, burly guy. Look at the car, big, burly, tough, leans forward on haunches, makes you feel like I do not want to get into a bar fight with that car. Newer cars are cool, supercars are certainly just amazing. I've done Porsche stuff, I've done other you know, supercar stuff as well in the racing series, and, and then those cars are cool in, our, in their own right. You know? But I'm very old school, I, I like American muscle. Old school muscle to me, it's gotta sound right, it's gotta look right, it's gotta go fast. And being a four speed guy, it's gotta have a stick. You gotta walk up on it and go like, that looks freaking tough. Like I said, it just, you know, it like makes me smile. It's like you hear it, you smell it, you taste it. You, you know, everything about it is just like, ugh, you know, it's there. This is just much more of a driver's experience versus the new technology. American Muscle is just, you know, it's just, it's heritage. These old GMs, they ride beautifully. They look amazing and they're very, very understated. So what Rob did to this car, he didn't want to go crazy, and he was sick and tired of seeing Impalas that were trying to be something they're not, or donked out, or turning into low riders. He's like, why can't I just find an Impala like the ones I grew up with? The ones that were just big block muscle cars, that were just brutes. Ultimately, I wanted to build like a sleeper that was just clean and simple and close to the way it originally looked, but add a little bit of flair to it. I'm just not really into a whole lot of flash. Um, I mean, if you look at the car, there's really not a bunch of chrome on it. I'm not a chrome guy. I mean, if I could paint the bumpers, I would paint the bumpers and match them to the car. And that's kind of where my pride is with this car is that you don't see cars like this as far as Impalas go. They're either low ridered or they're done completely different with just way too much flash or that kind of thing. Well, I really like the KISS method, you know, keep it simple, stupid. Rob did a frame-on restoration of this car. When he first got it, it was actually very clean, but it wasn't up to his liking, so he started to play. The side moldings on the car were originally chrome. He pulled them off, he painted them body color blue, and it's a very subtle touch, but it works brilliantly with this thing. 
if you look at the snorkel inlets in the front. He took out the secondary headlights and he put snorkels in and go right to the air cleaner on top of the car. Old driver is trick. It looks great. It, it fits the personality. 502 big block, Richmond five speed, 15 in by, by eight steelies and 373 gears that you just. <laughs> this, this is what a muscle car is. Stance does so much for the personality of a car, but yet so many people mess it up. I really do like stance. I like the way cars sit. They need to have attitude that way. Look at the stance on this car. The car's been lowered, but it's not so low that it's sitting on the ground. The tires are just under the lips of the fender wells. It looks tough. No way to misinterpret that this car just means business. There are a few things in life that make you feel as tough as a vintage sled with a big block under the hood. Their power, ability to take a beating, and the attitude these cars dish out catapult your emotions to levels I've yet to find in any other type of automobile. If I ever rob a bank, I want to be driving this car. If I ever get into a bar fight, I want to leave the bar in one piece, hopefully, and get into this car and drive away. If somebody ever cuts me off and I road rage, I want to be in this car because it makes me feel like I can take on the world. A muscle car is like a used tool that you might find in your grandfather's basement. It's just been around and has wear and tear on it. And you look at it and you go, that car's seen some shit. And that car's always gonna come out on top. You might come out with a little bruises here and there, a little battered, but you know what? At day's end, that's the guy that's still gonna be standing. Say what you will, you put a 430 next to this car, I'm walking away. I'm getting in this car and I'm driving home. And it's got nothing to do with speed. It's got nothing to do with engineering. It has to do with how a car like this makes me feel and what it represents to me. I like the worn in look. I like the style. I like big steel bumpers. I like chrome, you know, and I like, I like that we're rolling along right now at 60. I'm in fourth gear. 2800 RPMs, and I hear this verbal, and I feel vibrations coming through my seat, and yes, there's wind noise in the car, and it makes me feel like a million bucks. You know, the ride, you hit a bump, you're up and down. And there's just something about it that I wouldn't trade for the world.